Hi, my name is Thomas. I'm a physiotherapist, a frontline clinician. I'm also an extended scope physiotherapist for the wrist and hand and an advanced physiotherapy practitioner in primary care in a first contact role. The Mulligan concept is a system of pain-free joint mobilizations to aid in the restoration of pain-free function and movement in musculoskeletal conditions. With this in the UK, you can learn the Mulligan concept over three courses of two days. The first course is the part A, which is for the upper quadrant. The second course is the part B course for the lower quadrant. And these are interchangeable, so you can either take the B first or the A first. But this leads you up to sit in the C course, which is advanced techniques and clinical reasoning for the whole body. Also, if you're keen and you want to be examined, you can become a certified Mulligan practitioner which is a two-day examination process where I get a lecturer from Europe to come and we do a written exam as well as a practical exam where you assess you for your clinical reasoning and your handling skills. What is the Mulligan concept? Well, it's the application of pain-free joint mobilizations to allow restoration of pain-free function and movement. So to me, it really is manual therapy that makes sense. So it's not a passive treatment, as in traditional manual therapy, where we have the patient being delivered the treatment to from the practitioner. It's more of an active role, where the patient's involved with the treatment, they are involved in treating themselves, and we can empower people with their own self-management strategies. So for me, the Mulligan concept of mobilisation with movement is the bridge between exercise therapy and also manual therapy. We can also look to make mobilisation with movement specific to the patient in front of us by using functional positions. Now for a highly irritable patient, we may start them in a non-weight bearing or a low load position. Then as they progress, we can bring them into a partial weight bearing position, a full weight bearing position or even an overload position based on how that patient responds with regard to their tissue tolerance or their load tolerance we put the patient at the centre of the treatment. We do this by going on a journey with them to find out whether we can change their experience of pain or function by using mobilisation with movements. If we find that there's a particular way or a particular treatment that we can do that can ease a patient's pain, we then show them how to do it themselves so that they can take control of that condition, improve their efficacy and go on that journey to recovery. Who is the Mulligan Concept Courses for? Well, I would say it's for the practitioner who wants to go on journeys with their patient. So the person in musculoskeletal therapy who wants to add to their practice in addition to all of the other things that they do to see if they can improve their outcomes. It's also for the person who wants to improve the skill of their handling so that they can move patients and handle joints with confidence and sensitivity. As Brian Mulligan says, you use mobilizations with movements when they work. So they're not for all patients at all times. When they work, we use them. We show the patient how to use them. And we feed into this picture of recovery. In between the practical sessions, we will also talk about the reasoning and rationality for the use of manual therapy in the treatment environment and also discuss evidence-based practice. We will look at the work of Lorimer Mosley as well as Louis Gifford from a neurophysiological perspective. Again, looking at ne uh, Joel Belowski, as well as Neil Langridge's thoughts around the effectiveness of manual techniques. As well, we'll pay some heed to Max Zussman, and we'll be looking at the work of Peter O'Sullivan and Gwendolyn Joel in terms of their thoughts around mobilisation with movement. You'll be encouraged to think about patients from a biopsychosocial perspective, and within this, looking at where mobilisation with movements fits within the multimodal treatment of patients. We will discuss the recent advances in the theory behind symptom modification procedures through looking at the work of Greg Lehman. We will also consider the work of Jeremy Lewis with his shoulder symptom modification procedure. And we will also look at the theory of Bill Vicencino's group in terms of the effectiveness of mobilisation with movement from a psychosocial, biopsychosocial and a neurophysiological perspective. Through the course we'll be looking at various bits of research and I'll be paying particular attention to the work of Sue Reed, Toby Hall 
and Wayne Hing, as well as Bill Vicencino, who are good researchers within the field of musculoskeletal physiotherapy, as well as being Mulligan Concept Teachers Association members. Finally, we'll look at the thinking of Brian Mulligan on the effectiveness of his techniques from the point of view of a positional fault hypothesis and the correction of positional faults. Through this, we will look at the concept of pain-free, instantaneous and long-lasting pill effect of treatments, as well as the, the concept of Crocs. And as part of the package, you'll get three things. You'll get the course handbook, which is a copy of all the slides. You'll also get a belt, which you can use for many of the treatments. And you'll also get a copy of Brian Mulligan's book, Nag Snags, Mobilisations with Movements, etc. Plus a fantastic weekend of education with me. So to recap, we have the A part course, which is two days on the upper quadrants, the B part course, which is two days on the lower quadrants, and once you've done these, you can go for the C course, which involves clinical reasoning and advanced techniques. We also have an exam, which you can sit to become a certified Mulligan practitioner. If you're interested in these courses, book on the NCOR website. That's www.ncor.org.uk. Thank you very much.